Hello, Gilberto. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Gilberto? Uh, today, very nice in my work, teacher. Nice. Yes. You had a good day? Uh, today, today work in uh, San Salvador. Ah, so you didn't have to travel too much? Yes. How was the traffic? Mm, no, no. Uh, uh, I'm going early. Ah, okay. You left work early. Yes. Okay. Yes, because I, I think that in the afternoon it must have been really bad. I don't know. I left San Salvador around noon and it was getting really bad. I'm yes. Not, actually, I'm not home today. <laughs> um. But yeah, I left San Salvador at noon. Yes, and in the afternoon it's very difficult. The traffic. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Because it's Friday and it's payday. Well, one day after payday, right? So yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have Danny. Hello, Danny. Good evening. I know Roberto is a listener. Mauricio too. Lady, lady is coming in. Hello, lady. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, lady? Fine. <laughs> a little uh, tired. <laughs> a little tired. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's Friday. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know. As we as we say in Spanish, es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe, right? Have you heard that saying? Pasó un carro ahorita. No le escuché. Ah, I was I was uh, talking about the saying that in Spanish that goes es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, the body is tired, basically. Hello, Israel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Israel? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> it was too much traffic today. Oh, okay. Did you have to... To travel, well, I don't know, where, do you travel from San Salvador to El Puerto? No, I live and work in Puerto La Libertad, mm -hmm. but I have to travel to San Salvador, and today was not a good day on I... traffic because mm -hmm. it, it was so crowded. Definitely, yes. And even here in El Puerto La Libertad, Right now, there are too much traffic, believe it or not, even when we ha we only have that um, highway, mm -hmm. La Litoral. Yeah. But mm -hmm. right now, it's crowded. Mm -hmm. So too many people visiting El Puerto on the weekend, right? Yes, right now, yes. It's because the the holidays and everything is going to be upside down here yeah definitely do you live in downtown in el puerto yes i be i live in downtown ah, okay so you know everything that goes on in terms of tourists and different events that that are happening over there yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, here in La Libertad, we are on the festivity of the ah. city. Okay. The fiestas it's, patronales. It goes from La Fiesta Patronales from mm -hmm. December 1st to the 8th of this month. Ah, of this month. okay. 
So it's a, it's yeah. And when 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 there is, I mean, when the town has that kind of festival, it's even more crowded. Yeah. Yeah, the double. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, um, I think today we're not going to have too many people as participants because many of you are as listeners. And also, let me see. Um, there are some of you who are not attending because of other, uh, other responsibilities, other activities. So, well, let's get started. Um, actually, today, according to our planning, a uh, we have a review because remember we are basically in the middle. Okay, this is week three, and so according to the, um, a well, according to the planning, and the work we do in the platform. Uh, let me open the platform just so we can see what I'm talking about. Give me a second. I'm going to. I already I had it open already, but. I had to restart my computer because my camera was not working. So now I have to open it again. Let me just check here. Okay, let me see section three, branding, section two, midterm. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. Give me a second here. Please let me know if you, if, if at some point, um, you cannot hear me very well or something because as I said, I'm not at home. So probably this the, the connection is gonna break down at some point, uh, but please let me know, okay? If you cannot hear me well. Okay, uh, let's see. So for this week, uh, we need to work on the midterm, okay? So this is what I'm showing you right now in this, on the screen. We have all these questions related to, of course, what we have been checking, right? And I know some of you have already started working on it. So here we have part two. There are five questions, five items. Let me see part three, four items. And let's see, we have part four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the midterm. Now, let me check here. I'm going to show you how we're doing in terms of the meal term. Let's see. Okay, um, Gilberto has already finished. Yes, teacher, but, uh, I for mistake in section four for uh, me, the, the mix and exam. Okay. Uh, well, was that a mistake from the platform maybe? Because um, well, yesterday I talked to 
um, one of the administrators and she said she was going to fix those issues today in the morning. So that's something I wanted to ask everybody. Uh, well, uh, from those who were asking about it uh, a few days ago, like two days ago, I think it was uh, Andres, Leticia, Lady also. Lady, you're here. I don't know if you checked if something changed in the platform in terms of your answers. Lady? Hi, teacher. Hi. Es que en algunas me dan problemas. A la hora que escribo, entonces. Uh -huh. Ya le voy a decir. Okay. Y en una me di cuenta que al final era por un punto que me hacía falta. Ah, ok. But that's about the meal term, or was it any other eh, activity? Ah, sí, hay una, 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 Miss, que es, no la pude hacer, pero solo es un ítem. From, from the midterm or from any other task, any other homework? Any other homework. Okay, okay. Because right now here I, I have Gilberto, I have, well, you also finished, lady, uh, Maria Leticia. Rebeca, Roberto, and Sofia. Let me see if we have somebody else in the other page. Yesenia. Yesenia is done as well. Um, so I'm I'm just trying to see if there are some issues that are not fixed yet, so we can insist on. Uh, the administrators to fix them, okay? Si nos, has, si nos tenemos todavía algún problemita ahí, sugiero que lo lo, lo compartamos en el... En okay. el uh -huh, porque ahí están las personas que, eh, que pueden ayudarnos con respecto a si es un problema de plataforma. Yo, de hecho, ayer... Hablé con uno de ellos y, y me dijo que lo iban a arreglar pues ahora en la mañana. Así que eh, para revisar esa parte. Si hay todavía algo que, que haya que arreglar, pues eh, les pido por favor que coloquen ahí la captura. Ok. Um, so, those are the people that I have so far who have been working on the midterm. So, if you haven't... Uh, let's try to to do it uh, as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, if I don't know if there is any doubt or question related, if you for those of you who have already studied the midterm, uh, Gilberto, for example, you said that. In your case, you have, I don't know if you, well, you already worked on it, but I don't know if you have any doubt about the questions. Uh, in section, no. section four, the mixer teacher. Uh -huh. Let me, let me go back to the, to the midterm here. Section four. Okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, and the play is tragedy. Uh -huh. uh, in our pro, and uh, the play is tragedy demands a new channel of distribution uh, uh -huh. for me. That's where you, that's where it was marked wrong. Se lo marcó malo. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Let me see. Complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. The place strategy. Okay. In this case, um, Gilberto, I don't know if you wrote it. Demands. The place strategy demands with S at the end. Uh, yes. 
Ah, okay. The men's channels of distribution. The men enough channel of distribution. Uh -huh. Enough, yes, because you need enough. to. Mm -hmm. Enough channels of distribution. Okay. And it was wrong. So, um, yes. I don't know. Can you can you please share a screenshot of the results in the chat, please? Eso es para que tengamos evidencia de los errorcitos que vamos encontrando, ¿verdad? Y así que se pueda solucionar. Hello, teacher. Uh, sorry, uh, just to ask. Uh, today yes. is, is the midterm. The, yes. Today is the midterm. Um, yes. That's what um, we are checking right now, Rodrigo. Uh, well, I'm, I'm making sure that everything is okay with the answers. And if there is any issue with them, then okay. you can share the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So only for number one, uh, right, Gilberto? Uh, two and uh, three. Number three also. Yes. Okay. Let me see here what we are sharing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All of them mark, were marked wrong then. Let me see. Our products offer enough, enough features and benefits. Um, Gilberto, did you try to type the whole sentence? Or I don't know if somebody else has already worked. Well, the people who have already finished, for example, I don't know if you in this part, let me see. If we try to, to write the complete sentence, the place strategy demands enough channels of distribution. Okay, and then our products. I'm just checking here if 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 we can have it like if, if it's possible to have the complete sentence. Let's see our products offer enough features and benefits and the last one retailers will stock enough goods and sell them mm -hmm. and the last one is it warm enough to go to the beach today in the last well actually the last one is number five where can i find Radio. Yes. enough people for the game Okay. Mm. Well, according to this, number one and number two will be wrong. But if you notice number three, in number three, I wrote the complete sentence here and it, it's right. Let me see. Teacher, en, en, en las últimas dos solo es war and now. Mm -hmm. Y de y de now people. Lo que pasa no, no es que se... estaba, estaba tratando de verificar si nos lo tomaba como correcto el hecho de tener toda la oración completa. Pero, eh, sí, pero en la, en la 3, ya miro que hay a usted. 
a usted si le salió bien la tres, esta es completa, ¿eh? Y yo probé completa y no me funcionaba. Ah, ok. Voy a probarla así completa otra vez nuevamente. Ok, ok. Sí, por eso lo estaba poniendo así, porque eh, según la indicación, pues sería solamente la frase, ¿verdad? Pero veí eh, que estaba probando de esa manera. Ok, pero ya veo que lo co compartió ahí en el chat, así que eh, podemos darle seguimiento desde ahí. Okay, anything else in any other part? O solo ahí tuvimos problema en la cuatro. Los demás. En the part one. Ajá. Eh, la última cuestión está mal, o sea, sale mala también. Part one, the last item. Let me see. Okay, in this case we have. Ah, yes, this is the one we have. We're discussing about this. Distributors would, oops, would much rather. No sé si lo pusemos así. Would much rather sell our products at a lower price. Sell our product product at a lower price. Así tendría que ser. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, no sé si tiene ahí la, la captura para poderla compartir y que revisemos también eso. Teacher. Yes, Roberto. And number five, uh, and my answer is good, uh, is the, the, the following four. For example, the many distributor will, uh -huh. will would rather much. Ah, with would rather much. Would would rather much sell sí. or, or product at a lower lower price. If this is good for me. In the platform is good. Ok, ok. Va, entonces no sé si lo, usted lo tenía así, eh, Gilberto. Would rather match? No, o sea, lo había arreglado <risa> supuestamente. Ajá, sí, sí. Es que según la regla, pues iría el match, iría entre would y rather. Yes. Uh -huh. According to the rule. But if in the platform it is programmed this way, well, according to the platform, it would be this way, right? But according to the rule is would much rather. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's not a problem of the grammar, it's a problem of the, the, platform. the platform configuration, the way it is programmed, let's say. Okay, so, but... Gilberto, you can try the way the way Roberto says. Así con yeah. would rather match. Mm -hmm. Voy a yeah, voy a hacer el intento. Okay. Okay. Eh, Ajá, Rodrigo. Eh, teacher, eh, in, in, in that part, part in, the, in that part, part one, the ultimate, eh, I have I have it correctly. Okay. Did that, you uh -huh, read it that, this way? Así, would rather eh, match. Let, let me see. Let me see. Eh, let me see. Eh, the following is many distributors would. Let me see. Many distributors would rather much sell our product 
at a lower price, period. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. With period in, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. Uh, let me see. As, as in the chat, mm -hmm. I have written. Many distributors would rather much sell our product at a lower price. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes also the, the punctuation plays a role. If we if we add a period or not, that is also in the case of platforms, if they are programmed that way for you to use a period, you need to use the period. Mm -hmm. And, and I have problem with the first part of the part four, the, the three, the first three. Okay, part four, let me see. Sí, creo que es el mismo problema que tenía Gilberto, por ahí se compartió. In the, on the, ah, uh, on the homework, uh, I don't remember, two point, I don't know. Uh, in one of the sentence, uh, the verb, for example, uh, for example, the first one, the, the place strategy, uh, in one sentence, I use an S, uh, the, the, the place strategy demands uh -huh. and, and, and took me as a correct in the homework. But uh -huh. I, I but I tried the same thing uh, on these three, but any. Ah, okay. Yeah. So well, but but grammatically, this is the correct way with s at the end. Mm -hmm. So probably uh -huh. if you took it wrong, is because of the settings. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Stop. Everything that everything that you do correctly, if the platform is marking it wrong, I need you to please share the screenshot in the chat, and and uh, probably if you can, well, I guess only the screenshot is fine because I mean the the administrators already know the exercises, right? So yeah, please please do that so that we can I can follow up. On, on how they can fix it. Okay. Okay, anything else? No? Well, unfortunately, when we work with platforms, that is the situation that, remember the platform is set up in, and if, even if it if it is, I mean, if the if your answer is right, but the answer in the platform is wrong, then it's gonna take it as wrong. So that's the issue with platforms. So we need to report it. Okay. So thank you, thank you for reporting. Okay. So um, well. Let me share the, I mean, let me check the attendance because I haven't checked it at this point. Um, and then uh, since today we're doing a review, uh, I have a little activity that will help us review some concepts. And also we will be working with some grammar exercises to reinforce some of the structures that we have been checking in these two units. Uh, and we are going to, and uh, with a uh, writing practice, also uh, focusing on uh, the structures, okay? So let me check attendance right now. Okay, Dani Anthony, Siguenza Ventura. Dani, are you there? I think he may have issues with the microphone. Um, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Let me see. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. He's not here today. 
Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. As a listener. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. Thank you. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Maria Leticia Realigeño González. I think she's not present today. Uh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. <clears throat> a listener. Uh, Maria Cristina Juárez, listener. Y, um, Roberto Carlos Lamentrenga. Are you a listener too, Roberto? I guess yes, right? Uh, yes, teacher. I have a little meaning. Okay, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Are you there, Rolando? Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Okay, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Sofía, let's see, not here today. Uh, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Mm, not here today. Okay. Um, well, give me one second because I don't know if you can hear the, the noise. Can you hear some noise in the background? I'm going to get uh, my, my earphones. Give me a second, please. The thing is that I'm not home today. Actually, I am a, at a meeting <laughs> from my other job. And, um, well, I, I took a break for the class. So you... I, 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 sorry, teacher. I resolved the, the question one, part four. Uh-huh. Uh, well, in my case, I, I, I wrote... Uh, all the sentence uh, in this case the place a strategy demands lleva una S, demands mm -hmm. enough channels of distribution in this case uh, in parentheses it, it is right demand but in the sentence complete sentence you need to use the, the S demands uh huh. Yes, yes. I that's think, that's I something I correct. was. That's something I was uh, telling Gilberto as well, because. But, mm -hmm. but in the in the the question two, either using s or or all sentence with and without s, uh, it it takes me wrong. Yes. Uh huh. It took that's me. Uh -huh. It took me wrong. Actually, I just, I just, uh, the, well, in my case, uh, I had written S, but I, what I'm seeing is that I haven't added the period. So when I added the period, it marked it correct. So maybe, um, Gilberto, can you try adding the period for the first one? Yes, teacher, yeah, I'm very free. Yes, me sale bien. Ah, okay. Also, number three, you need to add the period. Let me see the number four. And what is no, what is no, Mama? Yeah, it's ah, only warm enough. Sí. Ajá, sin toda la oración, okay. Mm -hmm. And also in the last one. Enough people. Yes. Okay. Well, 
In at uh -huh. this moment, only I have the second question. Mm, yes. Apparently, it's wrong. That's right. Look, everybody, uh, just in case you haven't done it yet, uh, in the number one, it's the complete sentence, right? With period. Uh, number two is still marking it wrong. But number three is also the complete sentence with period and the right uh, conjugation of the verb, right? Um, then number four is only the phrase, right? Only the phrase mm -hmm. is enough. And number five also only the phrase, okay? Just uh, when you do it, please take note of this part. Thank you, Gilberto and Rodrigo for for helping us check that part. Okay, so um, um well, uh -huh. no, the, no, uh, well, in, in as I say, I don't know if we can help me with the. Uh, let me see. Two uh, two point eleven of the homeworks. Ah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. it, it it is the the same case. Uh, the, of the problem the same sentence with the with the same problem our products offer uh -huh. it is the, the same the, the same uh, error let me see two two point two point eleven homework on the uh -huh. on in the second part the number two and the number four. Number two. Our products offer features in, uh -huh. Okay. So do you have, and, can you please, can you please uh, share the screenshot? Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. But please share it in the WhatsApp group, please, because that's where we can, uh, Place the evidence. Oh, okay. And well, that's all. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, um, so right now, everybody, we're going to. I don't know. Have you ever played Kahoot? Uh, no. 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 No one has played Kahoot. Okay, let me. I, I don't know what is Kahoot. <laughs> okay, Kahoot. This is it is it is a um well it's a game uh, you can use for different for it's like a quiz, okay? Um so I'm going to give me one second here. Okay, let me let me open it and so I can share um Okay, give me one second here. I'm going to open. Okay. Give me one second because I'm trying to open it, but I don't know what's going on. Let me see. Save. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to share the screen now that I'm ready. Okay, so in this case, uh, this is, I was telling you, uh, we're going to do this activity with Kahoot. Kahoot is like a, a quiz. Uh, you will be you will see the question on my screen and on your screen uh, probably your cell phone or your computer you will see the answer choices okay so first uh, i'm going to um okay i'm going to share the link and let me see Give me one second, I'm going to share the link. So you're going to go to www.kahoot.it. In the chat, I just shared the link. Solo que no me salió directo, no sé por qué. Um, so www.kahoot.it. And then you're going to enter the pin. Okay, the pin that you're looking at in on the screen. Voy a volver a compartir el enlace. Ahí ya está directo. Y creo que de una vez lo va a dejar entrar porque ya lleva el pin. Can you click on the link, please, on the chat? And you can choose, or also you can scan the, the QR code. You can see the QR code. You can scan it. Let me see. Okay, in the meantime, while you guys are getting in, I need to fix an issue here with my chair because esto de no estar en la casa no es conveniente. <laughs> okay. I already see someone has joined. Let me see. Lady. Hello. Hello. Okay, we're gonna wait for your classmates. Lay. <laughs> yes. You can choose a nickname. You okay. can oops. Okay, let's see who else is here. Nobody else. Please click on the link that is in the chat, okay? In the Zoom chat. Rodrigo, welcome. Let's see. Who else is participating? Gilberto, have you clicked on the link? Israel? Rolando, thank you. Danny is not listening to us. I think he has a problem with he has a problem with his um microphone. Danny, please click on the link. If you can hear, there is a karaoke going on <laughs> here. Ya nos vamos a unir al karaoke, pero en inglés. <laughs> Do you like karaoke? Who likes karaoke? A nadie le gusta el karaoke. Okay, we have four people. Myself. 
No, I, I don't like it. But you my wife, like but my wife, yes, <laughs> she likes it. Okay. Es que aquí tienen un karaoke, por eso les digo. <laughs> no sé si lo logran escuchar porque ya me puse los audífonos y estoy en un lugar encerrado, pero está bien fuerte. Le... No, no, no sé. No se escucha, ok. Ok. Well, I think we're going to start with you four because I don't know if somebody else is participating. Let me see. I think from the people I see here. Yes, we have the ones who are participating. Okay, so I'm going to start. Remember that in your in your device, in probably computer, tablet, or, or cell phone, you're going to see the choices, okay? The answer choices. So you need to look at my screen with for the question. And on your cell phone or computer, you're going to see the, the, the answer choices, okay? So you need to choose the, the, the answer from your cell phone or your computer, okay? So... In this, in this activity, we're going to review some vocabulary, some concepts that we have been checking uh, since we started the module, okay? This is a, a review. Okay, so let's start. This is a midterm review. Okay, here we have the first question. Sales stop and the company needs to make a decision about what to do with the product. Okay, we have, look at the time. We have now eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Veamos. Oh, we have one answer. Okay. In this activity, we need to be a little fast, <laughs> probably because for most of you, this I, is I already, I already see it. <laughs> to be fast. <laughs> yes, you gotta be fast. Um, okay, so we got one answer, uh, but actually the correct answer is the blue one. Okay. When sales stop and the company needs to make a decision about what to do with the product is, in this case, we have the four stages of the la uh, product life cy uh, cycle and it is decline, okay? So nobody answered this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. And we're going to see here a scoreboard, okay? So right now, a lay is at the top. Uh, I think based mostly because of the fast part, okay, the speed, but uh, we didn't have any correct answer. Okay, so let's move on to number two. The product is new and branding needs to be developed. Okay, which stage of the product life cycle is this one? The product is new and branding needs to be developed. Maturity, growth, introduction to the market, or decline. Aha, we got one answer and it's correct. In this case is introduction to the market, the first one. Okay. Let's now check the scoreboard. Yay! So you answered the question, Rodrigo. <laughs> what about the rest? Is it difficult? How do you feel about this activity? <laughs> we are getting used to it, right? Okay, next. The growth in sales decreases because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. Is it maturity? Is it decline? Is it introduction to the market or growth? No? 
Okay. Ah. <laughs> we got two answers. In this case, the correct one is maturity. Mm -hmm. It is at this point where um, there needs, I mean, because there are competitors, uh, there is a lot of offer, right? So demand decreases. That's, and of course, when demand decreases, also sales decrease. So yes, maturity. Okay, next. Now Ley is at the top, okay. <laughs> Ley and Rodrigo, what about Rolando and Gilberto? Let's, let's, um, let's speed up. Okay, let's see the next one. My company makes shoes. There is a new company with the same style and quality. I asked them to sell their company to me. Okay, how do they how do we call that action? When you um when you ask your competitor to sell their company to you. Okay, we got one answer and it's buy out. Yes, it's the correct one. Mm -hmm. No, actually we got two answers. But the correct one is buy out. Basically, it means that you absorb your competitors, right? Right. Okay, very good. Next, now let's, well, first we're going to check the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo, okay, Rodrigo and Lady are fighting for the first place. Good, let's see. My product does not have demand anymore, so I decide to take it out of the market. Okay, what is a synonym of taking the product out of the market? Is it buyout? Is it demand? Or withdraw? Withdraw. Okay, the answer is withdraw. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's a synonym of take it out. Take it out of the market. Okay. Also, a uh, well, this is in terms of um, let's say the the life pro life cycle of a product, right? But also, a uh, I think it was yesterday that we were talking about this word with Andres, and he like. He was mentioning that people could not withdraw their money from the ATM at Bank Hipotecario. So that is another use of withdraw, right? When we go to the ATM and we take out the money, we can say withdraw the money from the ATM. Okay, let's check the scoreboard. Rodrigo is at the top, okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's see. My product has characteristics that attract the customers. So it has features, appeal, or take off. What is a synonym of something that attracts the customers? Features, characteristics. Okay, you chose character features. Um, but in this case, uh, Gilberto, the, the key point is attract, okay? Characteristics that attract. So, yes, uh, features is a synonym of characteristics, right? But uh, in this case, we're talking yes. about about characteristics that attract. So when we talk about attraction, we are also, I mean, it's a synonym of? Appeal. Appeal. Mm -hmm. Appeal. That's right. Okay, scoreboard. Lay. Ya ven que se están peleando con Rodrigo. <laughs> okay, next. 
I would to rather work hard with my marketing team than discontinue the product. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Three, two, one. Okay. Very good, lady. Okay, let's see. The company would prefer to withdraw the product. The company would prefer to withdraw the product. Correct or incorrect? Uh huh. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Okay. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. lady is still at the top. Very good. Okay. I don't know, Gilberto, are you answering? Rolando, what about you? Teacher, es que no sé, con la hora de marcar no me marca ahí. Y he estado marcando todo el tiempo. I confused, teacher. Why? What happened? I a mistake the... The... Uh, the pestaña de la... De la... De la, de la computadora, profe. Ah, ok. Ok, well, you need, to, you need to mark the correct answer that you see in your computer, ok? Let me see now. We are missing, I think, two questions. Vamos a ver. Ok, the state of a product when it is no longer useful. Is it demand downturn, maturity? or obsolescence. Okay, number... Obsolescence. Uh -huh. Obsolescence. We got two Excellence. answers. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that this is the noun, obsolescence. That's why I wrote here the state of a product or the status of a product. But if I want to describe the product that is no longer useful, I use the adjective obsolete. For example, I can say this medicine is obsolete or this uh, cell phone model is obsolete. Is that is the adjective, right? Um, okay. Let's continue with the scoreboard. Okay, very good, lady. And Mauricio has joined us, good. Okay, we are missing, let me see. This is the last one, okay. Promoting a product by providing funds to an activity carried out by someone else. Is it personal selling? Is it advertising? Or is it a sponsor? Three, two, one. Okay, we got two answers here. We have one that is correct and one that is incorrect. The correct one is sponsor. Okay, let's look at the podium. Rolando on third place. Okay, Rodrigo second place. And the first place goes to... Woohoo! Lady! Bravo! Clap for Lady!
Okay, very good. So this was our Kahoot, okay, for reviewing um, the vocabulary. Gilberto, go ahead. Gilberto? No, teacher, no problem. Ah, I thought you had a question. Okay, so for, for many of you, this was the first time using Kahoot, right? How did you right. feel about it? ¿Qué tal les pareció very, el Kahoot? Very interesting. And, and Me encantó. <laughs> Lo amé. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. So this was our our review for vocabulary. Um, okay, now we're going to do continue reviewing, but this time um, I have some give me one second. I'm going to uh, share here. Give me one second because I, I had to restart the computer. So, okay, but we have it here. Okay, I'm going to share the link to this activity also in the Zoom chat. Uh, let's see. Okay, there you have the link. So I'm going to share a, a screen so we can work together. Okay, this is a, an exercise to practice uh, would rather and would prefer. Remember, this is one of the grammar structures that we have checked over the over this period, this three week period that we have been together. Okay, so just click on the link and it will take you here to this to this page. Um, so, um, well, we're going to do it together. Okay. So what are the instructions? Um, choose the correct option for each gap below. So I'm going to be asking, a, oh, I'm sorry. I was, I thought I was sharing the screen. <laughs> okay, there we go. So uh, let's start with Gilberto. Gilberto, let's do number one and number two, okay? So okay. please tell me. Okay, we need to choose from these three three uh, options. I prefer brown sugar, that white sugar, then white sugar, or two. Prefer. I'm sorry. Two. I prefer brown sugar, two. Two. White sugar. Two. Okay. What about number two? I don't want to go out. I'd rather. Remember that I'd rather is the contraction for I would rather. Uh, in this case, to stay. I'd rather. I'd rather to stay. To stay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna mark the ones you tell me, but at the end we're going to check, okay? Check the answers. Okay, good. Let's continue with Rodrigo. Rodrigo, can you do number three and number four, please? I like trekking in the mountains, but I prefer... Uh, lying. Okay, lying on a sandy beach. And number four, I'd rather go in December. Go in December, uh huh. Done. Oops, wait, wait, sorry. Then, okay. 
Eh, thank you. Let's see who else is part. Okay, eh, Israel. Let's do number five and number six. I'd rather come out, come with you. Number five and number two. No, uh, no, just number give five. me. I would rather come with you. Uh, then just then stay here alone. Then stay. Then, then okay. stay here alone. Okay. What about six? I prefer traveling by bus. Can you show me the option, please? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, rather than travel. Huh? I wanted you to guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I prefer traveling by bus rather than travel by train. Okay. And let's see who else is here. Um, lady, lady, let's do number seven and number eight, please. I usually have tea, but today I prefer uh, having coffee, coffee, please. Okay. What about eight? I, I prefer, prefer to read for a while rather than watch TV. Okay, I prefer to read for a while rather than watch TV. Okay, and let's do the last two with, uh, I think we don't have anybody else. Oh, Rolando. Rolando, let's do number nine and number 10. Okay. I would rather you... Uh, to stay there to with stay. the with me and the kids. Okay, I'd rather you to stay here with she. Me. Okay, she number ten. She would rather to stay in the hotel. She would rather. Oh, sorry. She would rather to stay in a hotel. Okay, it's time to check. Let's check. Okay, we got 50%. Uh, let's see the answers. Number one is correct. I prefer brown sugar to white sugar. Okay, denme un momento que mi computo está descargando. Give me one second, please. I don't want the meeting to end or something. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Okay, number one is correct. Number two is incorrect. Uh, it would be, I don't want to go out. I would rather stay. And here we have like the explanation. We use rather, sorry, we use would rather plus infinitive without two to talk about preference, right? So we, we remember, a, well, in a, I remember we talked about using the verb in base form, es decir, el infinitivo, pero sin el tú. Okay, now let's see number three is correct. Please let me know if you have a question, okay, about these exercises, because that's why we are doing them, right? To, to make sure the, the, the structure is clear. Okay, number three. 
correct? I prefer lying on a sandy beach. We use prefer plus noun or ing verb to talk about general preference, okay? So I prefer lying. Okay, number four. Correct. Well, I'd rather go in December than in... Eso también lo vimos en la lección, si recuerdan. Then, right? I would rather... In this case, if we talk about preference, um, when you have the two options, right? So we can use it with then plus noun or infinitive in affirmative affirmative or with or in question statements. Okay. Number five is correct as well. I'd rather come with than stay here alone. Then and infinite. Okay. También puede ser un now. Pero si es el verbo, lo usamos en infinitivo. Then stay. Infinitivo without to, right? Only the verb. Okay, number six. I prefer traveling by bus rather than travel by plane. Okay, in this case, we use traveling, right? Why? We can use prefer with to to show the choices we have. The word to is a preposition here. So we use a verb after to. It should be, it should take the ing form. So we say, I prefer traveling by bus um, to traveling by train. Okay, to traveling. I prefer this to this, right? I prefer traveling by bus to traveling by, by train. Always using the A I N G. Uh -huh. exactly. mm -hmm. This is a this is an this is I would say this is um the structure that we had in check in the lesson. Remember, we didn't have an example like this in our lesson. But here, if you notice, we have only the verb prefer, right? And because you are using a verb here that is in ing, um, the other verb in the next part also needs to be in ing, and you need to use to instead of them, right? I prefer traveling by bus to traveling by train. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see number seven. I usually have tea, but today I prefer, and in this case we use to have. Mm, why? Because we use prefer or would prefer plus noun or plus two plus infinitive to talk about a specific preference, okay? Or what we prefer on a specific occasion, okay? And in this case, the, the specific occasion is today. In, in general, I like tea, right? In general, I like tea. But today, my preference, or I would prefer um, to have coffee. I would prefer to have coffee. Okay, so in this, in this example, we are using it for a specific occasion. That's when we use it with an infinitive, two plus infinitive. Okay, next. Um, I prefer to read for a while rather than watch TV. That is correct, right? Rather than watch TV. And in this case, we have the, the explanation. We can use prefer or would prefer with rather than or instead of to show the choices we have. Okay, so you have 
In this case, in this example, we have read for a while and watch TV, right? Those are the two choices. So when you have the two choices in the same sentence, you use rather than plus infinity. Okay, number nine. I'd rather you, in this case, uh, the correct form would be, I'd rather you stayed here with me and the kids. So, in this example, or in this structure, we use would rather plus subject plus past simple. So, this is a different structure, again, from the one we used in the lesson. Uh, because, as you notice, we are adding the subject here, okay? Okay, so when you add the subject, it's like you are expressing a wish that you have about the other person, okay? Or about the other, mm, the other subject, let's say. For example, eh, another case would be, I, I'd rather you, oh, I'd rather everyone was participating today. Oh, I'd rather everyone participated in class today. That would be my example. I would rather everyone, aquí está el sujeto, everyone eh, participated, okay, today in class. Y no es que estoy hablando del pasado, estoy hablando del presente, ¿verdad? Pero es como un deseo que yo estoy expresando acerca de otras personas, otras cosas, otras ideas, etcétera. Cualquier otro noun que funcione como sujeto. I don't know if that is clear in this part because this is new. This is not something we practice. Clear like water. Hello? Okay, let's move on to the last one. Okay, in the last one we have, um, let's see, she would rather to stay in a hotel. Esa es la respuesta que nos dieron y la correcta sería, she would prefer to stay. Como tenemos el to, okay, we don't use rather. In this case, we use prefer. With prefer, we add to to the verb. Remember, with rather, you only use the verb. Si dijéramos would rather, no usaramos el to. She would rather stay in a hotel. But because we have the to here, then we need to use prefer. She would prefer to stay in a hotel. Okay, questions, comments with these uh, exercises? How do you find mm. this structure? Maybe a little confused to uh -huh. in order correctly okay yes because this is i understand rodrigo i know that because this might be the first time you are checking this structure it, it may be confusing um but i wanted you to see other options for when we use these expressions that we have checked in class uh, after we finish these exercises I will ask you to write something using the structure so we can get more practice, okay? Okay, uh, we have another... Uh, we have another exercise here. Well, but I don't want to... 
go to the next one. Probably if you have any specific a question about the previous, we can clarify it, Rodrigo. Uh, sorry, teacher. I mean, uh, if you have some, some specific question about the exercise. Mm, I think I need to try in order to understand at all. Okay, I see. Well, uh, you can do it on your own if you want. I share the link uh, so you can practice with this specific exercise. But of course, there are, there are uh, some others that I could share with you um, extra. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, now there is this other exercise with enough. Remember, we have also work with that structure. I don't know if I guess I didn't share it. Okay, there you have it in the chat, the link to this other exercise. In this case, the exercise is about enough, uh, using it both with adjectives and with nouns. So um, in this, let's see the instructions. Um, well, first let's read the, like the little explanation here. Rodrigo, can you help me read the explanation, please? Uh, the word enough can be used is as an adjective and, and as an verb, adverb. When it is you, when it, when it is used as an adverb, it modifies an adjective or another ad adverb. Note that enough goes after adjective adverb in modifies. This can this can cause a confusion because when enough is used as an adjective, it goes before the noun it modifies. Okay, very good. So, um. Here in the exercise, we're going to see the sentence and we have two options, okay? We need to decide if which option is the correct one, okay? So I'm going to start with Rolando. Vamos a ir de abajo hacia arriba en la lista. Rolando, let's, let's work with, veamos. Okay, let's work with the first two. Number one, I didn't run to catch the pass. Enough fast or fast enough? Orlando? Oh, sorry, teacher. Okay, okay. I did. I didn't run uh, fast enough to to catch the bus. Okay, fast enough. Okay, here we can see the answer at the moment. It is correct. Okay, let's do number two. She is. She is um all. All, all enough to to know better. Okay, she is old enough. Mm -hmm. It's correct as well. Why is it correct, Rolando? Why do you think it's correct? Um, I think uh, uh, the correct is. Fast enough. But why? The first. Mm -hmm. I mean, both are correct, but why are they correct? Um, the curve is is 
the adjective it? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are correct because you we are using it, you are using them with an adjective. And when they go with an adjective, they go after the adjective. Okay, so fast and old are adjectives, right? So okay. you need to use them after the adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's do number three and number four. This is for lady. Number three and number four. Three. We, we have, have both milk and oat. Okay. Well, wrong. in this case, it's wrong. <laughs> wrong. And no milk. Aha, uh -huh. but why is it incorrect, lady? Why do you think it's incorrect? Uh, is the compliment? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's do number four and then uh, we can Say no. check both. She was. She was prudent enough. Okay, she was prudent enough to lock the car. So you got one wrong and one correct. And I was asking you to think about why it is wrong. In this case, a lady, it's because we are using a noun, okay? Milk is mm -hmm. a noun. And when we use enough with nouns, uh, enough goes first. Right, we say enough milk. Enough. We have enough bought milk. enough milk. Mm -hmm. Any number four, it is correct. Why is it correct? Where my no. Mm -hmm. Why is number four correct? Por el verbo, va primero y luego en no, y no. Eh, it's a noun. Sorry, it's, a, it's an adjective. Prudent. A noun. Ajá. No, it's an adjective. Prudent is an adjective. So when we use it with adjectives, enough goes after the adjective. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aquí la clave está en saber qué palabra es un adjetivo y qué, qué palabra es un noun. Eh, ah. <laughs> right? Because if it is a noun, it goes before. If it is an adjective, it goes after. Pero okay. tenemos que saber diferenciar qué es un noun y qué es un adjective. ¿Verdad? En este caso, eh, eh, hablábamos la vez pasada que un noun es todo lo que puede funcionar como sujeto. Hablamos de una persona, de un animal, de una cosa, una idea. ¿Ok? Eh, y el adjetivo es la palabra que califica al nombre. Una característica. Por ejemplo, en este caso, la característica es prudent. ¿Ok? Prudent. She was prudent enough to lock the car. So prudent is describing she. Right? Entonces, es un adjetivo. Okay. Now, let's look at six, five and six. Um, Israel, your turn. Five and six. Five and six. Okay. Mom. He was... Um, uh enough stupid to trust her okay it's wow. wrong <laughs> why because the word is stupid is an adjective uh-huh uh i remember the adjective describes in this case the the person he ah uh, yes that's right yes uh, 
He was stupid enough. Aha, uh -huh. stupid enough to trust her. Okay. okay. Let's see a eh, un poquito violento este ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero <laughs> Okay. Let's see number 6. Is it warm enough for you? Okay, let's check. Ah. Yay, you got it. <laughs> uh -huh. It's the same uh, case, right? Because it is an adjective. We say warm. Warm is an adjective. In this case, it's describing the weather because or the temperature, right? So, yes, warm enough. Very good. Okay, Um. let's continue with... Okay, Gilberto, let's do seven and eight. Uh, and no money, have, have we go and no money for buying the, the ticket? Okay, have we got enough money? Let's check. It's correct. Why would you say it's correct, Gilberto? In this case, money is a verb. Uh, mm, no. A noun. It's a noun, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a noun. Money is a noun, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Enough money. Mm -hmm. Okay, now number eight. Number eight, many tables. Computer are uh, small is now small is now. Okay, many tablet computers are small enough to put in your yes. pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, correct. Now again I ask you why do you think it's correct? Es more eh, es de object de describe the the table the tablet computer yes mm -hmm. excellent Gilberto okay Rodrigo I think we are missing you let's do number nine and number ten. ¿Qué se nos hizo, Rodrigo? Are you there? Murió, pero soy su hermano. <ríe> <ríe> es el fantasma, ok. <ríe> ok, Rodrigo. Eh, 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 yes. Eh, we haven't got enough chairs. Mm -hmm. Ok, we haven't got enough chairs. Correct. Mm -hmm. Why is it correct, Rodrigo? Mm -hmm. Why is it correct? Eh, because eh, chairs is a noun and first it is enough plus noun. Very good. Excellent. Right? Yes. You are a teacher and now. You can be uh -huh, a teacher and I, now. Because I follow, I follow my heart. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, your heart is right. Okay. Yes. Next. We haven't got. It always with me or, or yes. what? Yes. With ah, mm -hmm. we haven't got. A... I We haven't got enough blue paint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enough blue paint. Now, this is a special example. As you see, it is correct, but the word blue is not a noun. But why do you think it's correct? Mm. Because also it's not an Albert. 
Mm. And, no, and it, for me, mm -hmm. for me, the blue is the is the complement of the subject. In this case, the subject, the subject is the paint. Okay. So it, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My yes. logic, right? My logic. Yes, you are you are very, very close. In this case, um paint is not exactly the subject but it is a noun okay so you are right in the sense that blue is part of this phrase blue paint okay enough blue paint so that's why it's correct because uh, the phrase is blue paint so the main the main uh, element of this phrase when you say blue paint the main element is the paint, right? It's a noun. It's what we call noun phrase, okay? This is a noun phrase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's why it's correct. Mm -hmm. But it's tricky because the, uh, the word blue is, is an adjective, but it complements with paint, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have uh, all the answers, but we had already check them. Well, um, these are uh, grammar exercises, but now I would like you to practice uh, both of these structures. Um, would rather, okay, let me write it in the chat, please. Um, so I'm going to write the task. We're going to uh, develop a little paragraph using the, 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 two, the two types of structures, okay? Uh, for expressing preference and with enough. So uh, write a paragraph describing a um, product, mm, Okay, describing the story of a specific product life cycle. Make sure you use examples with would rather prefer would prefer a enough plus noun and enough oops, adjective plus enough Okay, so we're going to write a paragraph describing the story of a specific product's life cycle, okay? For example, um, let's say that I have a company where I, um, where I sell um, shoes, where I sell shoes, okay? Um, so I start saying, okay, um, we started selling tennis shoes uh, two years ago. My brand uh, was introduced to the market and uh, we started, um, we started uh, promoting or maybe we started uh, making enough advertising for the shoes that we were selling. At that point, we would rather um, we would rather advertise or promote in social media because it was cheaper and so on, okay? So you are like telling the story of the product life cycle um, using these structures that we have been uh, practicing, okay? So uh, I'm going to give you 
Uh, let me see. Um, probably around 10 minutes. And this is going to be individual. Okay. Um, so let's take 10 minutes to write our story. And when you are done, uh, please send it to the WhatsApp group because I'm going to, probably I will not have time to check all, all of them today, but I will check them later and give you feedback on any grammar uh, or spelling or something like that. Okay, so we're going to practice writing. I don't know if the task is clear or if we have any question. <clears throat> Raise your hand if the task is clear. Please show me you're alive. Show me you're not asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Israel. Ajá, solo Israel no se ha dormido. ¿Quién más no se ha dormido? Raise your hand. Thank you, lady. <laughs> Gilberto, thank you. Okay, so let's take the time to write our story, okay? And then please post it in the WhatsApp group. Ahí le voy a dar feedback. If you don't have any, any, well, if you have any problem or question, please ask me. Si quiere usar alguna palabra y no sabe cómo usarla, you can ask me.
Okay, I see Israel has already posted his. I'm going to go over it and as the rest finish, okay? Let's see, we have, as we all know, car battery, it's essential to get the power to start your car. Many people would rather buy a new one than buy a second hand. There are enough brands in the market, but not all the brands are good enough. Very good. Great job, Israel, at using uh, the structures. I think all of them are correct. Many people would rather buy a new one than solo no hace falta la N ahí, then buy an, a second hand. Um, just in, in general, uh, in the first part, as we all know, battery cars. Aidia inverso. Battery cars. Oh, wait a second. Sorry. As in the first know, part. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, wait. As we all know, Cars, cars, batteries. Yes, it's okay. The, 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 the order is okay. The only thing that I would take out is the apostrophe. Ah, uh, really? Why? You are not talking about the, 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 the possessive of the, I mean. Uh -huh. No, because uh, in this case, um, in, in general, for objects, we don't use the possessive, only when it mm -hmm. is people mm -hmm. for people so in this case what will be the structure it would be as we all know as we uh, as we all know a uh, cars sin el apostrofe cars batteries uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh well you can say car batteries right car batteries the plural car uh -huh. batteries mm -hmm. Car batteries are essential, or if you want to make it singular, the car battery is essential. The car battery is essential, or in plural, car batteries are essential. Así, ¿verdad? O singular, or plural. Uh -huh. And the rest is great. I'm gonna write it in the chat, okay? As we all know. Car batteries are essential. In in this case, teacher, why do you use the verb to be um after battery? Because I thought we were. I was talking about the battery, and it's not. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's a thing. It's a. It's not a person. Mm, when you mean when I say are. Uh huh. Because you said car battery is or car battery are. Ah yes. In this case, it's because um. Well, even if it is a thing, you you still conjugate the verb be. Like, okay, if it is it, you use is, right? So battery is an object, right? So the corresponding pronoun is it, but you still use is, it is, okay? Um, or if it is plural, car batteries, in that case, you use they. El pronoun is they. Entonces siempre vamos a usar el, el, la conjugación are. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't hear that part when you said that. <laughs> it was, well, no, I haven't explained that in this class. I I explained it uh, for the group that I have that was the basic, basic level. But in this class, no, I haven't explained it. Uh, wait, wait, car battery is essential. This is um, Israel. This is what we call 
uh, the verb be conjugation, okay? And usually we study it in the first module. That is like part of the basic level uh, lessons. <clears throat> so I, I wrote the two options there in, in the chat. When yeah, you use I, I, it in singular, sorry, when you use it in plural or when you use it in singular. You don't use it because the battery is it itself. Exactly. Uh-huh. Because you are using in this case battery is the noun, right? So uh -huh. when you when you mention the noun, you don't need to mention the pronoun next to it. The pronoun is used only when, for example, let's say, when you say car batteries are essential, period. And then you continue another sentence talking about batteries, but you don't want to say batteries. You don't want to repeat batteries. So you say, they are very important for the car. So the pronoun they is replacing the noun batteries. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got it? Or did I confuse you more? <laughs> no, it's not confused because I always thought that in all the sentences you need um not only a person or an object. Mm -hmm. And some sentences you finish with it, and I thought in this sentence was the same. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. No, uh, the pronoun is used when you don't want to repeat the noun. Mm -hmm. But when you already said the noun in the same sentence, it's not, I mean, the, the pronoun is not uh, necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I guess, I don't know if Gilberto has shared his. I saw he was typing. No, not, not yet. Okay, while somebody else shares uh, their story, I'm going to check attendance, okay? Because we are just five minutes away from the end, the end of the class. So uh, let's check attendance. And probably somebody else will finish their story by that time. Okay, Danny Anthony, si buen aventura. Ahí lo vemos, pero creo que no, no, no funciona el micrófono. Okay, hasta listo. Eh, Gilberto Benito, Santa María Ríos. Present teacher. Eh, José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Not here today. Eh, José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. I'm still here, teacher. You're still here, okay. <laughs> Julio Aristides Paz Rivas, as a listener. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Maria Leticia Raliqueño Gonzalez. Not here today. Um, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca, he's a listener. Rebeca Maria Cardona, a listener. Okay. Yes. Um, Roberto Carlos, Carmen Salvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo. Okay, I think Rolando has left by now. Um, Sofía Karina Crespo, not here today. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño, not here today. Okay, let me check if we have somebody else's. Okay, I'm gonna wait for somebody else to share their story and give feedback. 
How are we doing? Gilberto, Lady, I don't know if Rodrigo is working as well. Okay, we have a Gilberto's story. In my company, I would rather have the cinnamon for demand enough the consumers. It's very important for me to increase my commission. Okay. Um, I would rather... I guess in this case, Gilberto, it would be in my company. I would rather. Vamos a ir escribiendo acá de una vez. In my company, I would rather. Oh my gosh. I would rather have enough cinnamon. Enough cinnamon uh, for the enough que siempre demand es un noun aunque okay, pero lo podríamos decir of the consumers o mejor le vamos a quitar aquí el enough porque no suena como muy solo sería for the demand of the consumers it is Siempre usamos, uh, eh, empezamos el, la oración con un sujeto. En este caso es it. It's, it is yes. important. Uh -huh. It is important for me to increase. Ahí nos hacía falta el to. Okay. To increase my commission. But, yes. Pero el uso del enough sí me parece muy bien, Gilberto. Ahí el... I would rather have enough cinnamon for the demand of the consumers. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, everybody, it's time to go. So thank you so much for participating. And um, well, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Take care. See you on Monday. And please make sure to finish your midterm. Cualquier weekend. cosa, por favor, reportarla en el chat, ¿ok? Eh, las capturas de algo que okay. no le salga bien, para que podamos ver ahí cómo se solventa. Okay, teacher. Have a good night. Have a good okay, weekend. Okay, teacher. You too. Have bye, bye. Bye.